Hello, welcome to this video. If you're looking to put the new CIS reverse charge into QuickBooks Online, then stay tuned. If you have any dealings with CIS whatsoever, and especially if you're VAT registered, big changes are coming. Over at our sister channel, Offix Tax Tips, we talk about exactly why and what this means. But in this video, we're gonna concentrate exactly on what to do in QuickBooks Online and make sure that you're still compliant. If you need to know anything more about CIS reverse charge, don't forget to head over to that other video, Offix Tax Tips, to fill any gaps in knowledge you may have. So stay tuned to this video till the very end to make sure that you're compliant for CIS in QuickBooks Online. I'm Patrick, I'm a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer from Intuit and also that QuickBooks chat. Now over at Buffy's Tax Tips, as I said, we were talking about how CIS and the new reverse charge can affect your business. And over here, we're going to make sure you know exactly how to deal with it in QuickBooks Online. Now as of recording, the new VAT codes aren't live yet, but we know that they're going to be live by the 1st of March. So when it comes around to it, you're going to be able to make sure that it's been applied correctly. For now though, let's jump straight into it and see exactly what we should be looking out for when it comes to CIS. Let's have a look. So first of all, we need to jump into QuickBooks Online. And the first thing you need to make sure is that your company has got the CIS module turned on. So from there, we go to your company under the company cog, account and settings, advance, and CIS. And make sure this is turned on. You might need to put your UTR number in, and press save. With that, then under the taxes section, you'll notice you have a CIS control account down here, meaning you know exactly what's happened. Now with CIS, one of the most important things about the way it works in QuickBooks is about making sure that if you're a contractor or subcontractor, you need to make sure either your customer or your suppliers are all shown correctly. So let's have a look and make sure we know how to do that. Let's go straight on customers. So if I go to sales and go to customers, and if I go to Derby City Council, and I look at my edit button up here, and you'll notice I have an option here is CIS contractor. I need to have a tick in there for this to make sure that we have the CIS corrected. Now it's telling me and prompting me here, it, we don't have your CIS rate. So I need to jump into my settings. I need to make sure my CIS subcontractor rate is there. Press save. Now I've done that, if I go back to Derby City Council, press new transaction, invoice, then I'll have the option now under my products and service to use CIS Labour, CIS Labour Hire, CIS Labour Standard. And it's that standard one that I'm interested in. Now, when I include CIS Standard, now, when I include CIS Standard, it's gonna work out the VAT for me. But it's not the CIS I'm interested in now, it's the VAT. And remember, the VAT has changed at this point. VAT now, we're not going to account for it. In the olden days, prior to the 1st of March 2021 and the changes to the reverse charge, when we put in our invoice at this point, we would then add on the VAT that's relevant. Now, because of reverse charge, we don't need to do that. Now let's jump in and make sure we know exactly what we need to do. So imagine I had a thousand pounds. Now, a £1,000 makes it really easy for me to want, figure out what's going on. My CIS is £200, so the balance due would be £800. But what else does this tell me? Well, when I drop my VAT down, at the moment, I've just got my standard rates. But if I use the Manage Rates button, then coming by the 1st of March 2021, we'll have an option here for our CIS. For now, though, I'm going to create my own. OK, so now I've got my £1,000 in there. But from my VAT point of view, I'm going to use this code here, 20% reverse charge CIS. And for my example, I've put the QBC element to it there. Now with that, I'm now being able to show that I have not zero VAT to be added on. Now in the final version or when the update's live, we expect this to be showing the 20% in and then the 20% off. But for now, I'm just showing no VAT. Now, how do we make sure we're compliant? Well, that's the important thing here. So we've just shown how to make sure reverse charge has been shown. What else do we need to do? 
Well, let's follow these steps. The first one is I would want to make sure that every time I select it, I'm getting the right VAT. So I jump into products and services, jump into my CIS labor that I use, eat all of them if I use all of them. And I would make sure that here, the tax is selecting that new CIS amount. And that means that every time that I choose CIS income standard, it's automatically going to put the right code for me. So that would be number one. The second thing I'd be worried about, though, is that I'm compliant from my invoice. So I'll go company cog, custom form styles, edit that standard. And where it says content, I'll jump into the bottom page on the footer and on there. Per the VAT and other documents element, I would put reverse charge customer to pay VAT to HMRC. That means if I go back to that one that we've just done, and now if I print on preview, head down, reverse charge customer to pay VAT to HMRC, reverse charge customer to pay VAT to HMRC. That is now included on the VAT return itself. And that's what I would do to make sure that I'm compliant from an invoice point of view. Or I might even put it here. So what I do here is I print and preview and it will say there, reverse charge customer to pay VAT to HMRC. Now put the word in, you could put VAT, reverse charge S55 VAT VA94 or any of these, and they're just examples. But the most important thing is you must show all information required on the VAT invoice, make a note of the invoice to make it clear that domestic reverse, reverse charge applies, which we have done, and clearly state how much VAT is due under the reverse charge. That's great. And that's if you're the person selling those services or building that construction. But what if you're on the other end? What about if you receive that invoice? How do you account for it then? Well, let's have a look. Well, first of all, from a supplier point of view, I need to make sure that whoever's selling me these things, so let's say it's Alex Marshall, I need to edit, and I need to make sure that I've ticked that is a subcontractor. From here, I can have the option to verify, I can make sure I've got all the information. But if I just press save, and I'm verified, I'm happy. What if I've just received that same expense or bill that we've just had? So let's put that in. It was the 1st of March 31. It was for £1,000. So I'm going to use that new code, RCCIS. Again, it's not officially launched yet, but it'll be there soon. And what you'll see it does is it puts the £200, but then takes the £200 straight off. Jump into VAT. Prepare return. Let's see what's happened. Well, we have £200 in the outputs and £200 in purchases. If I jump into the outputs, you can see the Alex Marshall is there, £200. And there's a zero at the moment for the Derby City Council, which is our customer. And then if I go to reclaim on purchases, you'll see the £200 there as well from Alex Marshall. And what that means, if I go back to the reports, taxes, prepare return, we have zero VAT. And that's what we intend to see. So if you raise in the invoice, you don't have to pay any VAT over. And if you're recording that invoice, then you don't have any VAT to claim, but you need to show that that money's gone in and out again. And there we have it. Before we do that though, remember we have to make our checks. We have to make sure that whoever we're buying this off has been checked and verified to make sure that they are allowed to do that reverse charge. I would also request that they do put on that little statement that we showed from our customer and how we were going to apply for it. So showing that they have applied reverse charge. And then that gives you the confidence that you're applying that correctly, that you're showing that the reverse charge is correctly shown. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you can now understand how to be compliant with CIS and the new changes that are coming from the 1st of March, 2021. And remember that little trick to make sure that your products and services, you're setting your default to the right back code so that going forward, you don't accidentally put the wrong back code in. If you need any more advice on the CIS, remember that video from Boffix Tax Tips where they go into more detail on what the new changes mean and how that works. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel. That way we can make sure that you're in the right place to understand that you're doing everything right on QuickBooks Online. Well, my name has been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. I say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter.
hell Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.